Hello, folks. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cup on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels and networks. I'm, I'm the Pope, Mike Morales, here in Southern California. That guy out there is... Dave Dinius in Newport News, Virginia. Giving you the Queen's wave. <laughs> I, I like the Pope wave. I like doing the Pope wave does that. <laughs> ah, Who do we got today? We, I'm so happy that we're doing this. Uh, he is a friend of Tequila Aficionado. He is a friend of Dave's, a friend of mine. Uh, but this is anger management. If it looks like a beer bottle or, or like a growler, <laughs> it's because the, the you know what? The, the supply chain shortage. This was all he did yet. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is real. Okay, folks, you, everybody is having a problem getting corks, getting bottles. So, so brilliant. Chris Cardenas, the owner of this brand, Anger Management, says, I'm going to use, I'm going to get a beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It works. I it's like got the it. Mexican top on it. That's it. There you go. That means, that means it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it, it's a, there you go. It's got a safety pour on it. It's a twist top. Nothing wrong with that. And this is Anger Management Añejo. What do we know about this, Dave? What do we know about it? I know you know more than I do right now. We're going, we're going for that already. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we've had the reposado. I'm a big fan of the reposado. Yes. Uh, the blanco we flipped over, right? I I, I love the blanco. Uh, this is a two year. Okay. Uh, American oak. Yeah. So. Now we're gonna pour it. Okay, for those of you who have never heard of anger management. You can get it all over Southern California. I believe it's going to be in Texas very shortly. Okay. Yeah, he's he's working his ass off to get it everywhere. Oh yeah, you know he doesn't. He wants to grow the brand. He, you can follow him on Instagram, Chris Gardenas Anger Management. Follow him. Do him a favor, follow him because he goes live on Instagram so many times. At in, a, at Anger Management Tequila. Yeah, I think is his handle for. I, for, for Instagram, for Instagram. Yeah. and he goes live a lot of the times while he's driving, while he's working, and he keeps people posted. This is, you know, this is a documentation of a startup brand and yes. how they go about building their business, building their brand. There's, no, you know, he's not got deep pockets, but he's a smart cookie, and I'll tell you why. Okay, first we're going to pour this. I'm using a Glencairn. This is my first taste of this Añejo. He just this brought this out. It is a limited this. batch, right? Right. It is very limited. This is the first batch. And I think it is limited just a couple hundred bottles. We got lucky because we know Chris. There's and, still and, he, and he's and one of our advertisers. Still a couple out. He's one of our advertisers in in uh, Tequila Aficionado magazine. If you subscribe, yeah. if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. That's free. Okay. And, um, and all of our brands of promise who qualify can advertise in our magazine. Chris's stuff qualifies. And, and I'll yeah. tell you why. Look at the color on that. Dave, what's a nice color? I like that. This is nice for a two year old. This is, this is, this works. And I got a lingering bubble. I got that. And uh, yeah, you can see I can get a my... couple of bubbles going in there. It's oh, got some it's nice oh legs. look at the legs and tears on that on camera. <gasps> yes. Wow. I think yours is showing a little better than mine. Yeah, mm. my lighting here is not the greatest, but I do have a halogen lamp on this side over here. It's just creating yeah, that light. Help. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now you got it. Beautiful color. Yeah, nice it's, it's pretty. Pretty to look at. Almost reminds me of an Irish whiskey. Ooh, yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty to look at. Um, it starts off with his Blanco. That's basically just the Blanco yeah. being aged. Okay. This is his Blanco. This is his Blanco. Exactly. Oh, oh, man. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Those barrel notes, those sweet barrel notes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I get baking spices. I got a little bit of clove. <laughs> I get I get everything you expect in an añejo. You're getting in here right now. It's 
it's nice but it's not it's not there's no depth you know what i mean it's not a, it's not a heavy añejo it's no. it's a it's a if you like the reposado this is reminiscent of the repo but it's 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 amped up a little bit more yes and the reposado was pretty good too the reposado is one of my favorites uh, if you're, uh, you know, I don't know, some people are maybe Reposado people, some people are Blanco folks, some people want a more aged Añejo. Uh, I gotta say, that, get higher. yeah, well, you know, I, um, the funny thing is, the Blanco is good, I love the Blanco, but if I had to choose between the Blanco, the Blanco see, if I had to choose between the Blanco and the Reposado. I'm drinking the Reposado. I re and I did that last time that they I, I went out and met him while he was doing a tasting in my in my general area. Mm -hmm. And um, but this this is their Reposado amped up. Mm. Oh, those notes are unmistakable. They're nice. Oh. Very good. All barrel notes. I, I'm getting very minimal agave, and and that's okay because I think that. If you if you've ever checked in with Chris when he does his his tastings or he does his uh, he's doing a lot of stuff on social media he's he's making the rounds with all the influencers. <laughs> Dave and I interviewed him for our open bar, which I think uh, is available now. By the time you guys mm -hmm. see this, it, it'll be August. Uh, we're actually filming this at the end of January, and I believe his interview will be will be airing in February. First I think February, February probably first. Probably midnight tomorrow. tonight. You'll you'll be yeah. able to catch it. Ooh. So yeah, midnight tonight. Uh, <laughs> and he's such a great guy, and he's such a uh, he's such a, a, a genuine human being. Yeah, he's he's a fun personality. Yeah, you know, and he works his brand. It and, and it's not the <laughs> only thing he does. I mean, he's got a regular <laughs> job too. So he's got okay, a regular beautiful job. barrel notes. Whiskey notes up the wazoo. Yeah, this is nice. Even a even a little bit of old mustiness, like like from old uh -huh. barrel, right? Yep. But yep. not in a bad way. This is this is like the barrel's been used a few times, you know, and it's got that it's got that I've been around the block a few times smell. Yes. Oh, I gotta dive in, man. This is beautiful. Let's let's just go in. Go in. Oh my God. <laughs> I got that nice sweetness right up front from the agave and then it burst into barrel with a yeah. little bit of pepper the pepper and like cinnamon spice more mm -hmm. like baking spice it's not as it's not as deep as a cinnamon yeah. spice where it's hot no, not quite. it's not hot no no not hot. no it's more it's it just more had a little deep. nice nice spice in the you know what? it's the heat from the from the from the blanco the pepper the, mm -hmm. the pepper we got from the Blanco, that's what this is. Only only it's like dressed mm -hmm. up with some barrel notes. It's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to hesitate. <laughs> Brand of Promise nominee in that Añejo category. Now here's the thing. This is the yeah, anger management. Here's the thing: there are two things you need to keep in mind. All right. Number one, small batch, literally small batch. Number yes, two, small. there are two master distillers that are that are keeping tabs that are making this for him. Okay. Uh, Helping him out to his specifications. Yeah. All right. One is um, uh, Francisco Gonzalez Jr. Francisco Gonzalez Jr. Yes. He is Don Julio's son. Okay. Grandson. Grandson. I'm sorry. And and lo, uh, the name is familiar. Don Julio, right? They know how to make tequila. They, they do. know how to make tequila. It's in their blood, folks. Uh, Lalo is the great grandson of Don Julio, correct? Am I correct in the in the fa in the family? He's young. He's young. I think he's yeah. a great grandson. And Lalo, I think, is is a son of one of the brothers of, of the, one of the sons of Don Julio. Some, yeah, they're somehow related. Yeah, they're all related. But the other guy. The other guy. Marco. Marco Sedano. Yes. Marco Sedano 
is the master distiller of Tromba, who, by the way, is the original master distiller of the original Don Julio. So you have the original guy from Don Julio and a grandson of Don Julio, and they came together and made this for Chris. Okay? Yep. So you have a tequila that's a startup brand being worked hard, but you have some genius master distillers, Ingenier Ingeniero Chemicals, okay? Maestro Tequileros, watching and making this for Chris at his specifications, because Chris, Chris, if you if you watch his interviews, he's not afraid to change um, the flavor profile from batch to batch. He's more of the idea of the vintage idea. In other yeah. words, every lot, every vintage will have slight differences. He's good with that. I think he's on lot two. <laughs> yeah, and and this one, you know, he's he's. He is a startup, folks, but I, I heartily recommend the character involved. The the character, yeah, there it is. Anger December twenty twenty. That's yeah. when they launched. They launched. He it. launched. He launched right when COVID was like at the worst, right? Yes. Or right before COVID, I think. Well, no, right at the worst. And God bless him. He is kicking ass. Follow him on his Instagram. You will not be sorry. He checks in with his followers. He has his own podcast. What's a, you're on his podcast? What's his podcast? I, I'm, a, I'm on the podcast. It's SMT Sports Music and Tequila, and we're usually about every Thursday night or so. My my three favorite subjects. Okay, because because <laughs> he he used to do events. Uh, he was he's an Air Force uh, veteran. He, he used to do uh, DJ events uh, in somehow in Alaska. Well, he was not DJ, and he was a uh, promoting, promoting, promoting band. Right, yeah, he was a band promoter. He's there. a band promoter, um, but he has a, a for as young as he is, he has a very uh, wide um, life experience. <laughs> and when we interviewed him for for our open bar, watch that watch that interview. Go check it out. It's probably available now on YouTube on our YouTube channel. Um, how he got to that to this was was you know it, he kind of fell it's, into it it's a story it's fun it's a story it's fun he's a great guy but he's an honest guy he's a straight shooter he and is very much worthy of a following and supporting this is the kind of brand and brand owner you want to support okay uh i don't know where he's going to be at in the next three four five years if he does a crowdfund you probably want to invest because knowing what I know about this guy now and who his team is, which is him and one other guy. All right. Yeah. Um, and those of us who are fanatics about his, his makers, I'm more of a fan of the people making his tequila because, <laughs> because these people are no joke. Okay. No, no. They're not, they're not, you know, they got a little street cred there. <laughs> yeah. You know, his, his master distillers uh, have some pedigree. I know this is a startup. I know it's got an unusual name, but you know what? This tequila already has pedigree in it. And that that's, name might change soon. The what? The name? The, the name might have to change. Maybe so. Maybe so. But that's up to him. You know, we'll keep it here on Tequila Aficionado, folks. Or, or follow him on his Instagram. We will keep you posted as to what he's going to do in the future. It's so young. It's such a young brand. But to have this much character and this much street cred to begin with, <laughs> how do you how do you miss? You can't go wrong. You know what, what's our price point on this thing? Do you know, Dave? Our price you? point is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Six I'll give you that. I'll give you that Scooby Doo. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, look, sixty bucks at uh, Old Town. Uh, okay. You can also go to shop anger management mgmt tequila dot com and you can get it from there. Okay, folks, 
I know it's not a pretty bottle. <laughs> and I, this it's is an awesome design. bottle. It's a Looks fun like a design. It's a fun design. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Don't don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't even give them an idea. I know it looks like a beer bottle, like a growler or whatever the hell they're called in this size. But you know um, what? The glass shortage is real, folks. Okay, that's real. that's what happened. But for a two year on Yeho, and the character and depth that I'm getting, and the sweetness and the whiskey notes, this thing will stand up to after dinner. It will stand up to um, if you want to make a cocktail. I think it's very I think you could use it in a cocktail if you had to. The price point all day long. Yeah, I would just sip it. Um, sip it. And honestly, it's got enough character. I think it would stand up to a cigar. I, I would do a lighter cigar. I think it would too. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a, 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 a Robusto, something that's a little more robust. I would go lighter with a Connecticut wrapper or something like that. You know, um, even... One of my favorites to to that I smoke uh, when I get a chance to, when I get around to them, the, Drew Estate makes infused cigars that with with um, with um, uh, essences and things like that. One of my favorites are, is called a Blondie, mm. which is the name of my cat, by the way. And those Blondies are infused with incense, okay, and they're delicious. This would sip really good, pair really well with a Blondie from Drew Estate, okay? Um, maybe even a good Cuban for that matter. And I will try it with a good Cuban because I actually have one. Um, what's the number of the distillery again? 1468. Mm. Which is? El Viejito. That's the El Viejito. Grupo Tequila Rero Mexico. Yeah, let me see, 1468, right? 1468. Okay. You go there. Yeah, uh, Grupo Tequilero Mexico. Yep. Uh, wow, anger management. Lao comes out of there. Casa Lalo Vieja. Yep. Wow, Tierra Capitan. Brava. Arantes. Silver coin. Oh, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Capena and Alquimia. So it's not being made El Vigito. I'm sorry. That was that was a mistake. Oh my God, silver coin. There's a story there. Oh boy. Silver Coin, uh, the owner of the, that brand, if you fi have followed me at all, at all in my, in my history, Silver Coin is a brand owned by a gentleman in Santa Fe, New Mexico, okay. who is a home builder. And uh, it is one of the few tequilas that is still distilled to proof. In other words, it's made like El Tesoro is. Where you they still they, they distill it distill it till it gets to eighty proof and then they shut it off. It's not okay. it's not distilled at over eighty proof and then and then uh, cut with water. Okay. Okay. So more of the character of the agave is in the is in the tequila the blanco tequila. So mm -hmm. distilling to proof. There's only maybe one other tequila and that's El Tesoro. that's made that way. It's still made that way. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if they're if if that's what Chris is doing with his blanco, but it's a, they're cutting it. It's a small yeah, yeah so I think so too. It's a small distillery, uh, so not a lot of brands come out of there. But obviously, there's enough equipment in there to interest Francisco Gonzalez and Marco Serrano. Yeah, it is it is an autoclave, uh, and Chris is very upfront about that. Yeah, that's okay. It's all right. That's okay. That's fine with me. But I don't it's, mind a, it's a slow bake. I think they slow bake. Yes, it's a yeah. slow bake. Uh, and you can control the, the, the length of time of the baking. I know that uh, Mijenta does that. Uh, and that's Ana Maria Romero Mena. And she uses probably the slowest autoclave baking <laughs> setting you can get to, yeah. to make, to, to, to bring up as much character as possible. So the slower the baking in the, in the autoclave, you're still going to get character. You're just not going to get that baked oven you know the el tesoro kind of depth to it right but you know what the length of the barrel oh That's my good. god this is That's so good. good folks go get yourself a bottle this is such a small batch you're not going to be sorry and for the price see that's the other thing too is like when i hear chris talk that he wanted a tequila that was affordable but with the quality that's that's reminiscent of what you're paying hundreds of dollars for. What's he, he say? He wants a tequila that 
everyone can enjoy. Folks, he's leaving money on the table for you. Okay, go get it. Clear him out. I want to. I want to see. I want to see the second lot. I want. The I want to take every lot. Coming. Uh, I I want it. We want it. Dave and I want it. We're going on record now. Brandon Promise nominee in the Anejo yes, category. He's got you, it. Yeah, you cannot go wrong. This is an excellent Anejo. It's it's done right. How come I got a look at that? I got like a piece missing. It's got like a it got scratched off or something. I don't know how that happened. What, it's a hand what applied. Heck? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a, a hand labeled. It's hand applied, right, folks? Yeah. It's like I think somebody, Chris might have done that too. He may have used a key or something and scratched it right off, like a like a California lottery scratcher. Uh, <laughs> each, each, each bottle's different too. And, yeah, uh, you know, the, and again, and that was because of the shortage. Yeah, every one of these is changing. So so get it now because once once they solidify where they want to go with this brand, everything's going to change. And, you know, and who knows what's going to happen from batch to batch. But I'm a big fan. Chris, well done. I want all your batches, every one of them. We'll just, we'll just keep doing it. You know what? Because we'll do the side-by-sides. You know who does that? Suerte. Suerte did that with, with myself and Alex. They sent us three different iter- iterations of an extra añejo from three different barrels uh, taken out at three different times. And you can still get them if you can find them. And yeah. each, each expression, each iteration was different than the one before it. You don't think that you can get those, but you can. There is a difference. And, and Swartha made a killing. I didn't it. know that was Swartha. Yeah. So, wow, congratulations uh, to, uh, to the folks at Anger Management for Chris and, and, and his partner, his one partner that he has and his wife and family. Brand of Promise nominee, go get it. If you folks are watching us on, on Instagram or, or uh, maybe you're watching us on, on YouTube, if you've had it, tell us what you're doing with it. Give us a like, leave us a comment. You know, uh, the, the like helps with the algorithm. Yeah, because, you know, the world revolves on the algorithm. Follow Dave on, D- what is it, Dinius Dave on Instagram. You yes. can follow me personally, but don't bother. Follow Tequila Aficionado, follow them. Uh, we have a, a ton of information that, that, that we just, you know, on our Instagram and everywhere else, Pinterest, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, we're on, we're all on all of them and whatever you oh. do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.